attorney, she, her. Um, I have no problem with the changes to section 2.7, but when you vote for site selection, you are purchasing an advanced supporting membership in the winner. And if you don't want your information transferred, you're not going to be a member. So, so I think that this problem could perhaps be solved with language on the voting ballot that says your information will be transferred, and if you don't want it transferred, don't vote. Okay, that is a speech against. Is there a speech in favor? Kate Secor up at the podium. We have a parliamentary inquiry. Um, can one of the can one of the roving mics, or you'll come up to the podium. Okay. Okay. Elspeth Covart, she, her, um, in two point, I've forgotten. Two point seven. Thank you. Oh, you mean that the names will be passed forward, but not any of the contact information, whereas with site selection, the names and the contact information will be passed along. Okay. Um, uh, the, right. the chair will address the parliamentary inquiry. Um, are you? Um, sorry, that was a question. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> the both um, both sections of the amendment um, say the names and addresses of then the people. Uh, so both of them um, include that information. In which case, I apologize for taking up people's time. <laughs> Uh, I recognize Kate Secor up at the podium for a speech in favor. Thank you. Right. Kate Secor, oh, one she moment. Oh. We have court issues. Everything's still on? Great. Yeah. Okay. Well, I absolutely agree with Perry Ann that uh, this does allow people to choose to not give their contact information to a con that they have purchased a membership in. One, it's not our job to keep people from being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Two, um, as we are currently written, we are non compliant with the law. Uh, as far as I'm aware, if we don't ask for that permission, we're not allowed to do it. So if we ask people for their permission and say, if you don't do this, you're giving up your membership, please don't do that, we become more compliant with the law. And that's just overall a good idea. I do agree that if people don't tick the box, they're going to be in trouble. But that's their problem. Thank you. That was a speech in favor. Is there a speech against? Uh, I will remind people to wait until after I have finished asking if there is a speech against to rise. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you moves to the question? Yes. Okay. Uh, will you? We want to divide both them separately. Can we? It's Colin. Moving to divide the question. Oh, Colin Harris. He him. Okay. On the basis of the point made by Ms. Larry, I move to divide the question. Um, I think there is a valid discussion on site selection, notwithstanding the point just made about people can choose to opt out. That it's an inherent part of site selection that people want to be part of that convention and the op although legally we do require them to opt in explicitly we probably should be making it re requisite that that's part of the ballot process rather than leaving it open um, for people to not be able to give permission so i think it would be sensible to divide the question okay um, and so i just want to clarify to make sure so we're talking about dividing the question to vote on the Section 2.7 amendment and then to vote on the Section 4.1.3 amendment, yes? Okay, this is not a debatable motion um, and it takes a majority vote to do. Uh, so those in favor of the division of the question to uh, vote first on the Section 2.7 amendment and then on the Section 4.1.3 amendment, please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against dividing the question? <laughs> 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 
One moment. Okay. It was close, but I am, I f do feel that the uh, those against were a larger amount. So I'm going to ask uh, if you want a counted vote, please raise the hand. That is not 20% of the room. Um, and so I am going to rule that the uh, motion to divide the question failed. Yes? Ms. Chairperson? I would like to ask of Mr. Harris a clarification on why he feels division is necessary. Both of these clauses specify. I'm sorry, the the motion has failed and so the matter is, is okay. done and taken care of. Okay. Uh, unless somebody's going to, okay. So the motion to, do Joni, do you need? My understanding as a site, sorry, Joni Dashoff Shake, as a twice site selection admin, my interpretation of this is that if they do not give permission, we cannot pass the information forward. Is okay. that correct? That it, oh. it doesn't say so explicitly, Hold on. so I I'm want to I'm gonna rule clarify. you out of order. This is not a, th that is debate. It is not a point of order or a parliamentary inquiry. Sorry, it doesn't actually say that. I'm I understand that there ruling. is confusion, but you rose for a privileged point of order or parliamentary inquiry, and that's not what you're doing. What you are doing is debate. I was trying to ask before Colin's division of question. That's okay. I understand. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, sorry, Anne. The motion to divide the question failed. The last speech that we had was a speech in favor. Are you wishing to make a point of order? Point of uh, that's not a thing. <laughs> uh, are you, so, if you are wishing to make a parliamentary inquiry or a point of order, I will recognize you. No. Okay. <laughs> the last speech we had was a speech in favor. Is there a speech against? Uh, yes, Renee, up at the podium. I, I'm going to ask that unless somebody need to use the roving microphone, please do come to the podium so that you can be on the video. Okay. <coughs> okay. No. Uh, I move to change addresses to contact. Please state your name. Oh, Renee Walling, he, him. Uh, I move to change in both clauses addresses for contact information. As you know, for all we know, in five or ten years, people will use something else that doesn't have an address in some other thing, but that is still contact information, and we won't have to play catch up that way. Okay. Uh, so the motion is to amend uh, both of the sections of the of D five to strike out addresses and insert contact information. Second. I hear a second. Um, how are we doing on time? We actually still have plenty of time. Okay, great, we have plenty of time. Okay, uh, is Renee, you already basically spoke in favor of the amendment as part of uh, making it. Um, is there a speech against? Seeing none, is there a speech in favor of the amendment? Uh, Jovan at the microphone, or at the podium? As the person who wrote this up, I'm perfectly amenable to Renee's proposed amended wording. Thank you. That was a speech in favor. Is there a speech against? PRK? I question. Okay. The question has been called. Is there anyone still wishing to speak? Seeing none, we will move to a vote. Uh, those in favor of the amendment to strike addresses and insert uh, contact information in both occurrences in D5, please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against? And the amendment passes. Where are we on time? We have like a minute on each side. Okay. Basically. Is so bit. the last speech was a speech against. Is there a speech in favor of the now amended motion? Seeing none, is there a speech against? Uh, hey, Wallace, up at the podium.
Dave Wallace, he, him. I would like to amend section 4.1.3 to add that the current Willowcom committee may return the, or, or refuse the, um, the uh, site selections of those who do not give permission. They, Basically, to give them permission to say, if you're not, if you're doing nothing here, if you're buying a membership that's not going to be of any use to anybody, we have permission to just send your check back. Right. Can you please clarify me for me what, if anything, you are striking and what you are inserting? Only to add at, at the end of section 4.1.3 that uh, the current Worldcom committee has permission to return the site selection votes of those who do not give permission for their membership to, for their information to be forwarded. One moment. May we turn the money? Yeah. If you. One moment. Okay, so what I have is, I will ask the room to come to order, please. What I have is, uh, as the amendment, is to insert at the end of section 4.1.3 that, um, sorry, the current Worldcon committee has permission to return the site selection votes and fees of those who do not give permission for their information to be forwarded. Is that? Yes. Okay. Is there a second? Okay, I have a second. Uh, would you, one moment. We are making sure the wording in the minutes is correct, so one moment. I'm going to ask that uh, we clarify, I said in my clarification of the amendment that it was their information to be forwarded. I'm going to, if no one has a problem with it, say contact information. Yes. Yes. Okay. I know that's what was said originally, but when I restated the amendment, that's not what I said, so I so wanted it, it to be okay. Be forwarded to the winning, to the winning convention. Okay. And we're going to add to the winning convention, so it'll be to be forwarded to the winning convention. Committee, thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, we have a second. Uh, do you wish to uh, speak in favor of the amendment? I, I trust the, the the main merits of this are evident that we shouldn't be taking money if the money isn't going to actually accomplish anything okay. for, the, for the voter. Thank you. That was a speech in favor. Is there a speech against? <laughs> okay. <laughs> One moment, I would like everyone to please sit back down and I will remind you that I am asking you to wait until I have asked if there is a speech against to rise. Not partway through the question, but until I have finished the question. Now, is there a speech against? Okay, I am going to call on person whose name I don't remember, I'm sorry. Clark, at the podium microphone. Can I get your badge? Uh, go ahead and make your speech and then, or that works too. Clark Weirda, he, him. And the only point I'll make is that the vote, the payment for the vote has the effect of determining the outcome of site selection. So it isn't that it has no value at all. Thank you, that was a speech against. Is there a speech in favor? Seeing none. Are we still good on time? Yet? We have like 40 seconds. Okay. Is there a speech against? Okay. Um, I will recognize the gentleman at the back with the yellow card. 
uh, if somebody can bring the blue roving mic to him. Yeah, I'm Kevin Hewitt. Uh, I don't think we should be uh, requiring people to uh, not be stupid. If they want to give a donation to the winning Worldcon committee, uh, I think we should allow that because that's essentially what they're doing if they refuse to let their uh, information be transferred. They're essentially giving a donation to the winning committee. And I don't think we should be prohibiting that or requiring the money to be refunded or the vote not to count. That's all I have. Thank you. That is a speech against. Is there a sp for in favor as well? Okay, we are out of time. Uh, is Joshua? I move to extend debate. Uh, Joshua Kroningold moves to defend, extend debate. How many minutes? How long? How long? Uh, three minutes. Th three? three? Pick an even number, please. Four minutes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, is there a second? second. Thank you. Uh, the motion before us is to extend debate by four minutes. All those in favor, please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against? Uh, the motion to extend debate does not pass, so we will move to a vote on the amendment. Uh, so the amendment before us is to add the current Worldcon committee has permission to return the site selection votes and fees of those who do not give permission for their contact information to be forwarded to the winning committee. Those in favor of the amendment, please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against? And the amendment fails. Uh, Kate Secor, are you wishing to make a point of order or parliamentary inquiry? Motion to amend, Mr. Jefferson. Yep. You can make a non-debatable amendment as we are out of time. If you will please move to the podium microphone. I know you know, I just want to make sure everyone else knows. <laughs> Kate Secor, she, her pronouns. Mix Chairperson, I would like to amend the section 4.1.3 to change who have given permission for that data transfer to who have not opted out of that data transfer. I will ask the room to please come to order. Just because I need to get a quick clarification doesn't mean we need to get quite that rambunctious. Thank you. Okay, the current amendment, which is not debatable, unless we move to extend debate, is to strike in section 4.1.3, given permission for, and insert not opted out of. I heard some very enthusiastic seconds. Are you wishing to extend debate? Okay, please uh, come to the microphone. I recognize you at the podium microphone. Sorry, that was too casual. Clark Werda, uh, just to he him, I wish to move to extend debate for two minutes. Second. Second. Okay, there's been a motion to expend, extend debate for two minutes. Those in favor, please raise the hand. Uh, thank you. We cannot do that while voting. Uh, I, you, you were not recognized. I will finish the vote and then, in a matter of goodwill, acknowledge you. Those in favor, please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against? And the motion to extend passes. I will now recognize. Okay. Uh, so we now have two minutes of debate. The matter before us is to amend section 4.1.3 to strike given permission for and insert not opted out of. Uh, Kate, do you wish to speak in favor of your amendment since you were not able to? My name is Kate Secor. I use she, her pronouns. 
uh, I can't speak to the European law. I don't know the European law. The American law allows for opt-out communication if you are in a transactional relationship with the entity from whom you are opting out. There is a very strong argument to be made that participating in site selection voting is initiating a transactional relationship with the winning committee. So I think that making it opt out prevents people from being accidentally stupid in the ways that people are worried about and increases the likelihood that people will understand what's going on because people actually read things when they're the kind of people who care about this sort of thing. Thank you, that was a speech in favor. Is there a speech against? I will recognize Todd Dashoff at the podium microphone. Todd Dashoff, he, him. Uh, I'd like to preface my discussion with a question to the chair. Is an amendment in order at this point to the amendment? No, an amendment to the amendment is not in order. All right, then I'll just make it as a point. Uh, I note that section 4.1.3 does not contain the language that is in section 2.7 regarding permitted by legal law. So we may be setting ourselves up to be requiring the committee to do something that is prohibited by legal law. Thank you. Local law, I'm sorry. Uh, that was a speech against. Are we on time? 20 seconds. For okay. You. Is there a short speech in favor? I recognize Donnie Slake at the podium. Okay. Uh, Donnie Slake, he, him. So I don't mean to make things more complicated, but uh, I've been thinking about this. And I, I think the right thing to do is a different rewording which would just say in 4.1.3, the current Worldcon committee, as the agent of the winning committee, shall, et cetera, et cetera. And that would eliminate a lot of problems. I don't wish to suggest we should wordsmith this right now, having spent a lot of time doing on it also, but perhaps we should consider referring this to a committee to iron out the warning. I will hear lots of people in favor, so I guess I will make a motion to do that, which would move the pending amendment on this motion to a committee. Okay. I mean, whether or not it was a speech or for or against, is, it's now a motion to refer. Uh, a motion has been made to refer the amendment and D5 uh, back to the nitpicking and fly specking committee. I have heard a second uh, to, report next year. To, to report next year or to report tomorrow. tomorrow I, would, <laughs> I think next year is a great idea. So I'm going to make that the charge of the committee <laughs> to report back next year. Um, we are out of time. Okay, so we are going to move to a vote. All those in favor of referring the amendment and uh, item D5 to committee, please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against? And it is referred to committee. To, yeah, to, to the nitpicking and fly specking committee to report back next year. Um, I know we're all lagging a little bit. I am going to Actually, here, I'm going to ask the will of the body. Would you like to take a 10 minute break now or wait until after D6, which is the last of the nitpicking and fly specking committee uh, items? My videographer is very enthusiastically saying now, so we are going to take a 10 minute break now. It is currently 12 o'clock on the dot, so we will uh, resume back at 12.10. <laughs>